Gilda Radner said it best, it's always something. So despite some technical difficulties and a change of wardrobe and the passing of some time, I was able to piece together a video. I uh, hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching. Stick around to the end for some bonus content and a little bit of encouragement. See you there. I had some people ask me the type of equipment that I use. Um, honestly, I'm kind of on a budget right now to start. So right now I'm using a wireless lav mic that I purchased from Amazon. This is the one I'll link it in the description below. I was looking to see what the brand name is. It doesn't really appear to be that they're really proud of whatever the brand name might be on this thing. But I can tell you the short time that I've had it, it seems to work pretty good. It works okay. It uh, comes with two microphones, two lav mics. I'm using one right now. Um, so you can use both of these microphones at the same time if you're doing something like an interview um, where you would need two microphones and there's a wireless dongle that I currently have plugged into the phone. I'll, I'll put a, a picture of it when I edit this video. Um, like I said, I've used it for about a month or so now and it does seem to work pretty good. The other thing people ask me about is what do I use for a tripod? I have used in the past a traditional photographer's tripod that I took the top part of a selfie stick off and mounted that to the tripod and that seems to work okay. I did recently purchase this item. It is a gimbal stabilizer. Um, again, it's a budget one. I think I paid around 30 or 40 dollars for it. It does seem to do really well. Um, it's not a um, gyroscopic. It only does left and right. Um, doesn't do your up and down. But for somebody just starting out, I think this is a good choice. Um, it does double as a just a regular selfie stick. There's the ability to stabilize. You can turn that on or off. You can use it as a tripod. I'm using it right now as a tripod. A lot of good features, a lot of uh, very budget friendly if you're looking for something like that. Again, I'll link it in the description below. And as always, anybody here on YouTube that does that, myself included, um, if you do buy through the link, I'll get a small commission. Um, and as my uh, one of my fellow YouTubers who I've learned quite a bit about, Scott, over at uh, Live Video School, I think that's the name of his channel. Um, you know, if you do buy something uh, and I get a small commission, I'm not going to get rich by it. I'm going to uh, maybe buy myself, uh, he says, a cup of coffee. But uh, I don't drink coffee. I like tea. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully you want to see more videos by me. Um, comment below um, what type of topics that you're interested in. Um, and uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Thanks. <laughs> so that's funny. I just recorded something, but I didn't record it because the record button actually wasn't going. So I'm going to start over. Hopefully this is a little bit better version. Um, but I did want to talk also about editing software there's a lot of different editing software out there um, and so 40 years ago when I was in film school we physically cut film into pieces and edited it together and man it's come a long way since then and it's really even come a long way in the last 10 years five years you can do most of the editing on your phone I use CapCut I'm sure a lot of people use CapCut it's really good for uh, short videos um, I do prefer Caden Live for longer form videos. Caden Live is an open source video editing software that runs on Linux um, and Windows. Maybe it runs on Mac, I don't know. Um, but it is very powerful. There is so much you can do. It's really a professional quality editing suite as far as I'm concerned. But both of those, very good choices. Uh, even the free version of CapCut, there's so much that you can do. And it's, it's, uh, it's just amazing when I think back to what we used to have to do in the in film school. Um, and the other thing I just wanted to mention as far as what I said with the bonus content, I just want to encourage everybody to um, just pursue what it is that you want to do. Pursue your passion. I know it sounds cliche, possibly, um, but 
you know, we only get, as Paul Hardcastle said, we only get one go round at this life and we really need to make the best of it. So it doesn't matter where you're starting from. I mean, look at me, I'm pushing 60. Um, and I really, uh, I really want to get back into this and make a difference. Um, just want to leave you with some words of encouragement. There's a couple of uh, YouTubers that I follow, many YouTubers that I follow that are very encouraging. I, I, I can't list them all. Very, uh, a number of people in my life that have encouraged me. Um, but I just want to mention two of the YouTubers that have just had a, a profound encouraging impact on me. And one is Mark Daner of Daner Made. Um, this guy is awesome. He takes pallets and he makes beautiful furniture out of these pallets. And it's not just the pallets he makes, or the pallets, the furniture he makes out of the pallets, but his encouragement and his, he's got such a, uh, a character about him. I don't know how to describe it. He's he's just such a, a positive person. And one of the things that, that he says almost in every video, and it's so true, is just get started. You know, you're not going to be perfect. This video is not perfect. None of the videos I've made are perfect. And perfectionism will stop you from doing it, from starting. So whatever your creativity is, whatever your passion is, I would encourage you to pursue it. Just Take the time and, and just get started, like Mark Daner says. And another person that is a, a very positive person on YouTube, um, Leah Bolden at C. Jane Drill. She is just such an incredible person and just such an encouragement, I'm sure, to thousands of people. Um, and her big thing, her big tagline is, you can do this. And she's right. You can do it. Whatever your passion is, whatever your creativity is, Share it with the world. I, I really believe that the world, especially the world that we're living in right now, they need it and they deserve it. Thanks, and uh, I appreciate you watching. I uh, appreciate you watching to the end if you did. Um, if you did, leave me a comment below. It would uh, be a great encouragement for me. Thanks, and you know, have a great day.